right. Thanks so much, Connell. As oil prices continue to soar, talk of clean and renewable energies like wind power is almost drowning out any talk of fossil fuels. In just two years, the U.S. is set to become the biggest wind market in the world. Now, this boom isn't lost on Jewel Wind Inc., a company with over $200 million of wind farms already in use. And today, Jewel Wind is about to take Wall Street by storm as the company goes public. But before that opening bell sounds, Dan Jewell, the CEO of Jewel Wind, is here to talk to us about the clean and renewable windy frontier. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you. Tell us, you decided to go public. Why now? Well, wind energy is, is on the forefront of the energy that's happening today. If we know fossil fuels are uh, waning a bit and, and uh, the work we've been doing with community-based development and wind energy is proving to be a very good alternative in the Midwest for our electric supply. You know, we were just talking there a second ago about the fact that wind energy, we will be the, the largest provider of wind energy in the, in, in the world right now, the United States. And I understand there are predictions or hopes that 20 percent, I believe the figure is, by 2030 of the electricity will be powered by wind here in this country. What are the early returns on investment in terms of investing in this sector or your company? Well, the early returns are obviously in the development stages of the, of the projects and the ownership stages of the projects. And uh, what we do at Jewel Wind is we partner communities and farmers who own the land and own the resources together with the technology and create a long-term revenue stream for them. And it's a, just another form of a cash crop for, for the people that live out in the rural sectors of America. Yeah, it's a, it's a different philosophy. You, you decided not to team up with the energy companies in terms of these crops and to really, the ownership rests among the community or the farmers. Uh, why do that and how do you make that revenue share work for both you and the community or the farmer? Well, we, we do it for multiple reasons. Um, you know, the, the, op, the object of economic development is very important to us in, in rural Minnesota and rural America. And, you know, our revenue streams come from the development fees, the management fees, and ongoing operations of these wind farms. And we just assist the communities in, in getting through that process. And then we make our money uh, in the development process and, again, the ongoing management. So let's talk about some of those figures or statistics for people who don't know about your company, which, as I understand, is going public at a dollar, right? You That's raised correct. $5 million. That's correct. Okay. You have developed over 150 megawatts of community-based wind farms. Yet you have in production at this point, and as I understand, 100 megawatts can power 30,000 homes. But you have a lot more in production in terms of your investment in new wind power facilities um, and what you hope to achieve. Tell me about some of those statistics. Well, we have about 400 megawatts in development at different phases of the development. Uh, we have projects that are starting in construction this year. And then the, the process of getting into the transmission queue, and, and it takes time for all that to roll through. And we have, like I say, 400 megawatts in, in the queue that's uh, being developed as we speak. And so it'll take a couple of years to get through that. So put this in context for us. You know, when you look at wind power as opposed to, let's just say, solar power or any one of the biofuels, what's the advantage of wind power? What's the bang for your buck? Why invest in this? Well, wind power is now a mature technology. I mean, it's the fastest growing energy technology on the planet. And, uh, you know, the cost of this energy is basically the cost of capital to put the machines in the ground. You know, we have no fuel, we have no waste, we have no emissions, we have none of the other things that drive up conventional energy. And so wind power has a major advantage as being a long-term, low-cost energy supplier, and that's why it is taking off all over the world. And what do, you, what do you do about those neighbors or neighborhoods where they say, I don't want that in my backyard? Uh, is that why you've been centralized to places like Minnesota and, and you look for those kind of areas? Well, no, um, we have not experienced that in Jewel Wind. We, we partner with the, cons the, the people that live in the communities and the farmers and the small business people. And, you know, people have a different aspect and look on things when they have an ownership stake mm -hmm. in the projects. And so we have not experienced anything like that in our neck of the woods, and it's because of our design philosophy of building these wind farms when we partner with the communities. Yeah, and I understand that you, you build them locally with local contractors as well, which is a brilliant idea. All right, so the ticker symbol, your new ticker symbol is J-U-H-L, which is the name of the company. That's correct. Congratulations. Thank you. Best of luck, and uh, people can find out about it by just looking the OTC, right? That's it. Over-the-counter over markets. All right, terrific. Dan Jewell, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. All right, coming up.